Um, so up next is a subject that's really near and dear to our hearts, especially given um, the rash of wildfires in the North Bay and the impact on on farmers. Um, this is a group that's a champion for farmers, food access and education in the Bay Area. Um, please join me in welcoming Andy with the Agricultural Institute of Marin. Great. Hi, Claire. Thanks so much. So hi, everyone. I'm Andy Najeris, and I like to call myself the Chief Eating Officer of the Agricultural Institute of Marin. The Ag Institute is a 37-year-old nonprofit that operates eight Bay Area farmers markets. One of the most powerful things we can do to address climate change is to demand food that is local and responsible, especially during COVID times. Shopping our farmer's market has never been more essential. At the Ag Institute, I lead food systems changes and build food access through our farmer's markets, including our flagship market pictured here. Today, I'm excited to show you the farmer's market of the future, a place-based model that can reverse the climate crisis where we shift from just where food is grown to also how food is grown. It's time for the farmer's market to grow up. I'd like to introduce the Center for Food and Agriculture, a world-class farmer's market in a regenerative food system. The center will make organic and regeneratively grown foods more accessible to eaters, chefs, and schools, and create awareness about healthy soils, pastures, and seas. The center was recently endorsed by the Marin Drawdown Project as a solution for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. We have access to a 4.63 acre site at the Frank Lloyd Wright Design Civic Center in San Rafael. Once home to the tidal marshes used by the Coast Miwok, this area was drained and developed in the early 1900s and is now an iconic cultural hub. We'll operate one of the first closed loop, zero waste open air farmers markets three times per week. We'll provide up to 250 spaces for responsible farmers and producers from nearly 40 California counties. What sets us apart is that we're building a farmer's market for everyone with the principles of regenerative systems embedded in everything we can do. All shoppers that come to our market will learn the difference between soil and dirt while buying foods directly from farmers, fishers, ranchers, and food entrepreneurs who use climate beneficial practices. We'll mitigate food waste and single-use products through on-site waste and composting systems. Our walk-in cooler and produce washing will be essential resources for producers who donate fresh produce to community members at the end of market days. No food will go to waste. We're committed to the goal of zero greenhouse gas emissions, zero net energy, and climate positive design. The new building will be fully electric with on-site solar canopies. We'll supply our own energy and store enough for emergencies. Our concept is also to build what we grow. We'll use materials like sheep wool insulation and, <clears throat> and straw bale as part of our building. Our rainwater cistern and septic systems will create closed loop waste management and water systems. Our outdoor learning spaces will allow visitors of all ages and abilities to experience composting healthy soil demonstrations and watch seed starting and growing. We'll show a climate resiliency garden that demonstrates climate adaptation and carbon sequestration techniques. Visitors will leave with a deeper understanding of the role within the life cycle of regenerative foods, learning about compost collection, learning about food miles and carbon farming, and then buying nutritious foods directly from the local farmers and ranchers who are pioneers in these practices. The center is a destination where healthy soils, the foundation of good nutrition, and healthy communities. Visitors will participate in our all electric kitchen to learn how to cook foods that were grown regeneratively on nearby carbon farms. We're creating a new generation of climate smart eaters. Our team recently completed a master plan through a collaborative stakeholder process in partnership with the County of Marin. We hired equity community builders to manage the project with a completion date of 2023. In 2019, we received a $2 million investment from the California Department of Food and Ag to fund our pre-development work. We're now raising an additional $10 million for construction, and I'm asking Food Funded to help us raise $150,000 to move us closer to our goal. I invite everyone to play a role in a way that inspires you. You can make a generous tax-deductible gift, offer a grant, or serve as a campaign ambassador to help publicize this bold project. It's more than just a farmer's market. We're creating and building new economies. We're creating space where everyone can engage to take climate action one bite at a time. 
Your return on investment helps to improve climate conditions and helps to ensure that responsible farmers, ranchers, fishers, and food entrepreneurs will have a place to sell for future generations. You can meet me at our exhibit booth to learn more. I hope you'll join us on our journey. It's going to be delicious. Amazing. Thank you so much, Andy. That is such an incredible project to really show us how to build these truly regenerative systems. Um, and I love this concept of raising climate smart eaters. Uh, that's awesome. So let's move to questions. Hi, Andy. Um, what a beautiful, ambitious project. Um, I just, I can't wait to see it actually come to fruition. And I work I kind of wish you were doing it here in my backyard instead of <laughs> Marin. Um, but I'm just curious uh, in terms of, you know, it's a pretty substantial raise and there's a lot of different activities going on. Is it a fully self-sufficient model in terms of earnings meeting the budget or will there need to be some ongoing philanthropy to finance the operations? So right now, the way we work about 67% of our revenue comes from earned income from farmers and producers that are able to sell at the market. The additional 33% comes through grants and donations. Throughout our project, we're trying to inc incorporate a similar type of uh, revenue breakdown over time. Currently, we run two farmers markets at the site. We're gonna be adding a third farmers market to bring in additional revenue. And then many of the programs that we run will have revenue generation by renting out the kitchen and hosting events focused specifically on uh, climate-friendly foods and regenerative agriculture. Andy, great presentation. Um, by the way, I, I love the uh, farmer's market boxes. I get them at, at Grand Lake. Oh, great. I'm um, so glad to hear that. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I can't wait to visit. It sounds like an amazing project, but also a, a very large project. Can you just talk a little bit about the team that's involved? Yeah. So AIM itself has been around for 37 years. So we have a long history running farmer's markets, but within our organization. So I'm the lead on the project. We have an additional, uh, we have our project manager, equity community builders. We also hired and contracted with a full design team, uh, McLennan Design, April Phillips Design Work, Sherwood Engineers, as well as uh, Gould Evans to put together the entire, entire master plan and project. And now we're working with a variety of community partners and leaders to fully develop our new capital campaign. So it's really up to the community to make this farmer's market happen. So we're excited for the support we can receive. Amazing. That's going to be so, so exciting. Thank you so much, Andy.